We begin this week with a look back at 2023. It was private spaceflight company SpaceX launching its massive Starship into the sky. In theory, Starship could carry 100 people on a trip to Mars. This April test, however, ended with a separation failure and the uncrewed cargoless craft exploded in the sky. The company described even getting off the ground as a success. Seven months later, SpaceX launched a Starship that again carried no crew or cargo. The flight lasted twice as long but had a similar result. According to Space.com, SpaceX recently conducted another test of Starship with plans for a third launch in coming weeks. Also this year, NASA brought back carbon-rich samples of the asteroid Bennu. Much of the sample is trapped under a stuck lid, but scientists are keeping busy with grit from the mouth of the container. But NASA wasn't yet done with interstellar rock collecting. Its technicians created the Psyche spacecraft in 2022, and it launched in October for what should be a six-year mission. Psyche's name comes from the metal-rich asteroid it's chasing, which scientists believe is the battered remains of an early planet's iron core. Studying Psyche could not only give scientists a better understanding of our own planet, but also give clues on how better to prepare us should we be in such an asteroid's path. Also this year, NASA astronaut Frank Rubio returned to Earth after a record-setting 371 days in space, the longest by any American. Technical difficulties wildly extended what should have been six months aboard the International Space Station. Rubio was also the center of controversy over the first space-grown tomato that mysteriously disappeared. NASA later confirmed Rubio didn't eat it, but did not say how or where it was found. Looking way back now, we have the 55th anniversary of NASA's first moonshot, Apollo 8. The space agency placed three men atop a rocket for what would be its first trip to the moon, beating the then Soviet Union in the space race. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The crew did not land on the moon. That would have to wait until the Apollo 11 mission, but they did read from the Old Testament of the Bible and wish the people of Earth a Merry Christmas. Finally this week, it was our old pal the Sun reminding humans who's boss. A NASA telescope captured the biggest solar flare in years, yielding some two hours of radio disruptions in the U.S. and other sunlit parts of the world. The Sun is nearing the peak of its roughly 11-year solar cycle, with maximum sunspot activity predicted for 2025. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.